Okay. Yes, hi, how are you doing? Good morning, good morning. How are you? I'm doing fine. All right, great. great. Are you, are you uh, Jehovah's Witnesses? Yes, sir. Yes, we are. Well, let me take some material out. Uh, are you selling some stuff? No, we're not selling. Oh, okay. Um, let me just um, take a um, couple of your uh, materials here, okay? And uh, so you can know that I know, okay? So, um, do you want to come in, by the way? You want to come in because my back is a little bit, you know, kind of sore. I'm legally blind, so you can come in. Well, well come in. I mean, come on. You just come in and sit down and, you know, I mean, I'm not going to, you know. Yeah, all right. yeah, come on. We have some I understand, but I'm yeah. legally blind, so I have some courtesy and kindness, oh, you know. Okay. 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 You can sit over here if you want to, you know. Uh -huh. all, right. all right. Sit over yeah, here. And you can sit over there, okay? Mm -hmm. And they, it's not that you can, you know, you want, I know that you're busy, but... Yeah, my yeah. back is not really up to par these days. Yeah, well, I can understand. That. And I used I to work in it back too. Yeah, and yeah. I used to work in a truck and uh, uh huh. So let's just um, first of all, you know what we should do? We should actually um, bow down our uh, heads to Jehovah and just pray just for a second, you know, to honor His name, you know. Well, we did that before. We yeah, came but out. I'm just gonna do that myself, you know. Uh -huh. And like I said, I'm legally blind, so I can't make eye contact and stuff like that, you know. Mm -hmm. So let's pray in the name of Jehovah, you know. Jehovah God, we come to you and we praise your holy name because you're a great, you're the creator of the heavens and the earth and the sea and all that in them is. We pray that you give us understanding, not human wisdom and instruction, but that you give us understanding from your word. And uh, what your son said is very important. So we pray in the name of Jehovah and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Now, now the thing is that I, I have, like, I called Kingdom Hall recently, mm -hmm. and I had a discussion with them, and I said, you know something, um, can you please let me know, now you teach that Jesus was resurrected uh, with another body, but I see in the Bible, you know, the King James and the New World Translation, which, which you see that you have, you're not blind, you know, you can see, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it says very clearly, he says, destroy this, destroy this temple, and in three days, I will raise it up again. Not another body. And we're going to go back and forth, you know, but I'm just, I'm, you know, starting the conversation. He didn't say, my father is going to give me another body. He didn't say, I'm going to raise up another body. Like Charles Taze Russell said, you know, in volume five of the studies of the scriptures, the man Christ Jesus is dead forever dead. No, he said, destroy this temple and I will raise it up again. And I'm just going to make two other points. In Psalm 16, okay, in Psalm 16, he said, you will now allow your Holy One to see corruption. That's another indication that's the same body. Mm -hmm. Now, another indication very quickly is um, chapter 20, verse 28 of John's gospel. The gospel kata iane, that means according to John in Greek. Mm -hmm. And he said very clearly to touch, put your finger in my hands and thrust your hand in my side and do not be doubting but believe. And even your New World Translation calls Jesus my master and my God on page 350. It says Lord on the footnote with a capital L, by the way. So this, this is what I'm trying to say. Um, if it was another body, like the Jehovah Witnesses teach, then why does he still have the crucifixion scars? See, that's the thing. I want to, can you teach me on yeah. that? Why does it have to what? Why does it still, why does the body of Jesus have the crucifixion scars, you know? And, well, and, well yeah. the thing about it is, right, is yeah. that, mm -hmm. you know, uh, when he mentioned that uh, he resurrected the temple in three days, that meant, actually, he was referred to himself being resurrected in three days. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And this is the misunderstanding that they, uh, the, you know, those back there at that time got. They thought he was talking about himself. Yeah. You know, uh I mean, the real the real temple that was for no, but right. he about himself. Well, he was talking about himself, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and so when he when he died, yeah, you know, uh, and uh, what the Bible says, uh, your body will not see corruption. corruption Psalm sixteen, because he was resurrected before that. He was resurrected in three days, and usually what happens is is that mm -hmm. a body does start to uh, decay at yeah. either about three days, three to four days. Right. But he didn't stay in the grave that long for the body to do that. He was resurrected in spirit. Right, but the thing is, what I what I have contention is that there is always an immediate, according to the doctors, you can ask any doctor, there is an immediate decay in the body. 
-hmm. within the body. Forget about outside the body. Within the body, there's already corruption going on. Within, within immediately once the, the, the heartbeat stops uh, uh, to beat, there's, there's an immediate attack. It's like an army, a legion uh, uh, attacks the body. And he said very clearly in Psalm 16, uh, and, 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 and Peter Petra says very clearly in, in Acts chapter uh, chapter 2, he says that David was not speaking about himself because you can go and see his tomb. Mm -hmm. If you want to see that David wasn't talking about himself, well, go and see his, see his tomb, you know. Mm -hmm. And so he wasn't talking about himself, and he said very clearly in the, the direction of the Holy Spirit, you see this in... Um, in uh, Acts chapter 4, verse 25, that David had a habit of saying things under the Holy Spirit. So I'm not, you know, I don't want you to run away. And let me tell you something. I commend the both of you because mm -hmm. I asked many Jehovah Witnesses to come inside and discuss the issues. And they were very scared and they left. I commend you that you're trying to be Bereans. And that you're trying to check the scriptures by yourself. Because let me tell you something. It's appointed unto man wants to die. And after that, the judgment, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Mm -hmm. Okay? And if I'm, like, even in your, uh, right here, the, uh, the, um, the, this is uh, Jehovah Witness. Uh, I got this uh, uh, several months ago. Yeah, the truth at least here. This is a very that. classic work. It has 22 chapters. Mm -hmm. And it says on, if you, if you read on page 13, it says that a religion that wants to honor God, if you want to uh, turn to it, so you can see the, the direct quotation on page 13 there, and that wants to honor God, page 13, and I have a checked mark, you know, so I can find it, you know, um, it, it's not going to accept certain things from the Bible and reject other parts. Mm -hmm. So actually, your book there from 1968, now remember when that book was written, you know, yeah, Two yeah, Assassinations. Yeah. yeah, we went through this book, right, yes. We okay, went. so mm -hmm. it's saying that a true religion, and you see another, uh, I think that the title of that chapter is Examine Your Religion or Examine Yourself, something like that. You see it right over there, page 13. Yeah, so yeah, we, religion, we right? can yeah. test to see if we are in the truth, mm -hmm. to test to see if the Jehovah Witnesses, meaning Kingdom Hall, not the, not the people like you who are going around. And by the way, some of the people, I feel sorry, because some of the of the people in the Watchtower Society are called the anointed class. They're the only ones to, to take communion. But people who, I don't well, know if well, you can. We, well, in our organization, we don't take communion. Yeah, no, no, but no. The, the the anointed class can take communion, though. You have two classes in the Watchtower Society. You have the anointed yeah, class. We don't, we don't take, uh, well, well, oh, yes. Uh, you, no, no, well, you, yeah, yeah, they you, do. They're anointed. They yeah, do. They're, they're well, ones, right. That's yes. what I'm trying to say, Um, mm -hmm. you know, and I don't want you to leave. Please, just as, as, as much as you can, I'm just trying to say that let's be Bereans about this and let's see that, uh, you know, you're in uh, uh, an organization that is divided into two classes. In the anointed class, they can take communion. But you guys who are doing the work, okay, you can't take, you're called the other sheep. So The other sheep of the great crowd. The yes. other sheep. So what I'm trying to say is that um, I understand you have a wonderful brochure over here, okay? A wonderful, I read this whole brochure in, in a school in the Jehovah's Witnesses, How You Shun the World. But the problem that I have in these uh, writings so far, okay, uh, when we come to this very interesting one, this is from, uh, uh, and I, I, I read that in a visual tech over there, you know, mm -hmm. and that's how mm -hmm. I can read because I'm legally blind, you know. Right. And I'm going to bring you to this, because um, this is very interesting, parousia, you know, let me see if I can find it over here. Um, I know you know this one, you know, because mm -hmm. you, you, you seem like you have experience. This was made in, um, this was published in uh, December 15th, 1974, mm -hmm. and it's called, Who Will See the Sign of the Son of Man? You know, and the witnesses say that they're the eagles, they can see. And so the, the thing is, is uh, he's called the invisible, the, the Christ is going to come invisibly and you can't see him. But the problem with this is, and you can just hold that if you want, you know. It's a very uh, classic, uh, classic what's, what's book. the problem? At, uh... Well, the problem is that the Greek words parousia and auratu, auratu means invisible. And well, well, but yeah, well, it could mean presence, too. Parousia, yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, well, well uh, parousia means presence and coming. And, mm -hmm. and it also means presence. It doesn't mean that the person is invisible. Because you see that Paul in Philippians, and I have a Greek New Testament over there, if you don't believe me, but uh, uh, Paul came in a presence to uh, Philippi, and it's parousia. So he wasn't invisible when he came there. You know what I mean? Who's this? Paul? Uh, Paul. Actually... Well, Paul, well, no, not, not Paul. I mean, no. 
No, he wasn't. Well, no, 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 no. The Greek word parousia is found in Philippians chapter 2. And the, the same Greek word parousia that the watchtower says that Jesus is going to come invisibly, Paul actually uses it of himself that he's going to make a parousia. He's going to make a presence to the church of Philippi. Mm -hmm. It's right there in the Greek. So the thing is that um, Jesus is not going to return invisibly. He's going to come in visible form because it says in Revelation chapter 1 verse uh, 7, he says that he's going to come, uh, he's going to come meta. And then it, it says uh, he's going to come with the clouds. And then it says epi in chapter 24 of uh, the, the gospel kata Matthion, according to Matthew, that he's going to come, uh, he's going to come upon the clouds. He's not going to be in the clouds is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. So we have to look at these teachings and say, can I work for eternal life? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can I work for eternal life in a watched out society like they say that I have to knock from door to door to gain eternal life? If you see, um, you have a New World Translation there. Right. Okay, if you go to um, the Book of Romans, mm -hmm. you know, and, I, and one of my favorite teachers is Dr. Barnhouse. I don't know if you ever heard of Dr. Barnhouse, you know. But um, in Romans chapter 4, verses 5 through 8. It says that the man is blessed who does not have his uh, uh who does have his iniquities paid for and covered, and it says that in the New World Translation of the Watchtower Society. What, what chapter do you say? Uh, actually, Romans chapter uh, four, verses five through eight, that you don't have to no longer work for your salvation. Maybe you can just read that for us. You know. Okay, I'll read what it says. It says, uh, "Now to the man who works his works uh, works his pay is not." counted as undeserved kindness, but mm -hmm. as something owed to him. Yeah. On the other hand, to the man who does not work, but puts faith in the one who declares the ungodly righteous, his faith is counted as righteous. Right. Just as David also speaks of the happiness of the man to whom God counts righteousness apart from works. Happy are those uh, whose lawless Deeds have been pardoned, mm -hmm. and whose sins have been covered. Yes, sir. And then it said, man, eight. It says, uh, "Happy is the man whose sins Jehovah will by no means take into account." So that is a, a clear, and then there's a whole chapter on it on righteousness mm -hmm. uh, apart from works, apart from the law. In mm -hmm. fact, Martin Luther uh, made his Protestant Reformation because of that fact that he saw that the Catholics were teaching. Um, um, uh, do penance and it wasn't penance it was metanoia it was repent and am i in the right movement i i i don't want to go to the and i know you don't believe in this but i don't want to go into the lake of fire and um the greek word for fire is pure i don't want to go to the to the because if there's annihilation what's the big deal mm -hmm. if there's really annihilation and we deny what what uh what mark chapter 9 verses 43 and even in the watchtower society's new world translation it does say where the gnat or the maggot does not die. So if the mat and the nagat does not die in, in Mark chapter 9, you can look at it right there. I have the 1950 one. I don't know what year you have. Mm -hmm. I have the original one. Uh, it says that the maggot and the gnat shall not die, and the fire is not going to be quenched. So if the fire is not going to be quenched in the New World Translation, that means it's eternal. The Greek word for eternal is ionion. Mm -hmm. It's the same Greek word used for eternal life. So if you believe in eternal life, well, you have to believe in eternal condemnation and judgment or discipline is not cutting off. The Greek word is colossus. It means discipline or it means it means punishment. So you mean you, you feel feel that when a person dies, he goes into eternal punishment? Well, if he did not, if he was not born again, like we see that we have to be born again. Uh, uh, chapter three, verse three, uh, verse five of John's gospel. And if a person is not born again, he shall not see the kingdom of God, Jesus said. Well, now, there's another thing to that, too, you see. Yeah. Because when they, now, they, at that particular time, they were talking to those who was, was going to be the anointed, right? That's who he was talking to. And those anointed ones was the ones, if if you weren't born again and become one of the anointed, mm -hmm. naturally you wouldn't see that the heavens. Only the anointed word. But who's the anointed? That's the key. Who is in the who's the anointed in the Bible? Let's come to the Bible and and, and well, we can use. All, well, we'll just give. Yeah. Well, the 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 apostles were. Yeah. The apostles were. Yeah. Yeah, and and there were some others. And we see but in definitely, you know, the name the apostles, and, right? They would be part of that. Yeah. Yeah. And we see in First John that.
Um, let me just um, take um, a couple of your uh, materials here, okay? And uh, so you can know that I know, okay? So, okay. Yes, hi, how are you doing? Good morning, Good morning. how are you? I'm doing fine. All right, great. great. Are you, are you uh, Jehovah's Witnesses? Yes, sir. Yes, we are. Well, let me take some material out. Uh, are you selling some stuff? No, we're not selling. Oh, okay. Okay, you can sit over here if you want to, you know. Uh -huh. All right. All right, sit over yeah, here. And you can sit over there, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's not that you can, you know, you want, I know that you're busy, but yeah, my yeah. back is not really up to par these days. Yeah, well, I can understand And that. I used I to work in it. back, too. Yeah, and yeah. I used to work in Um, Do you want to come in, by the way? You want to come in because my back is a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. kind of sore. I'm legally blind, so you can come in. Well, we well come in. I mean, come on. You just come in and sit down and, you know, I mean, I'm not going to, you know. Yeah, all right. Yeah, come on. We have I understand, but I'm yeah. legally blind, so I have some courtesy and kindness, oh, you know. Okay. Uh, 